943,000 more jobs added to the economy in the latest month. If you include upward revisions in just the past couple of months, over a million such jobs, better than 800,000 new jobs a month we are averaging right now this year. And that's a trend that the administration says is an indication of the Biden economy. Eugene Scalia, the former U.S. Labor Secretary of these United States, might have a slightly different view on that. Uh, Gene, it's always good to have you. Thank you for coming. Yep, my pleasure, Neil. Um, what did you make of the report itself? Now, uh, you're a better expert than me on, on when, you know, a report is coming out and when the data is dug. I, I suspect a good deal of this came prior to the real serious spike in cases. So we, it might not be representative of, of what could happen this month. But having said that, what do you think? It's, it's a, a strong report, Neil, very strong report. Um, we've added at nearly a million jobs two months in a row, brought unemployment down to 5.4 percent. That's a better on both fronts than uh, projected. You know, um, it was more than six years into the Obama administration uh, that we had 5.4 percent unemployment. So historically, uh, that's a good number. Uh, we, we obviously still have progress that we need to make. We need, uh, still have people that uh, we need to get back to work from, uh, from what happened with COVID. The, the kind of questions on my mind looking at the report are, uh, first of all, where were the gains made? As you know, Neil, I've been very interested uh, about the extent to which New York, California, and other uh, more regulatory states, states that have been locked down, they're having a much harder time uh, putting jobs back. And I'll be interested when we get the state data whether they've started to improve or whether instead we're seeing gains mostly in the states that uh, ended that federal unemployment supplement uh, earlier than the statute provides. And then second, wages. What's going on with the wages? Uh, are there inflation indications here? And then third, uh, your question, uh, what does this um, bode for the future? Is this potentially a high watermark uh, as COVID cases increase? This data was taken in uh, mid-July uh, before right. uh, the, the cases really began skyrocketing. Yeah, that's what, to my point, uh, you know, whether this could be sustained in the face of that. And, and, and you raise another very good point about where the jobs are. We know that in, in this uh, latest month, uh, 380,000 of them were in the hospitality industry that's not a shocker there but what drew my attention secretary was that 240,000 were in the government government jobs what did you make of that well there was a big gain uh, re reported in the um uh, state government education sector, but as the Labor right. Department noted when it put this data out, that's partly probably due to seasonal adjustment. Um, the, the, that number had been low through the school year, and so now we're in the summer, and, and when you adjust it, it, it looks better. Uh, so it's, a, it's an, a, such an unusual job market uh, still, Neil, uh, still, you know, just so fluid, yeah. a lot of different things going on. Um, you know, in terms of uh, why we're here. These are the kinds of numbers that I uh, thought we would see uh, when I left the job in January of this year uh, because of the vaccine. I believed we had a very strong underlying economy. I believed we could put back millions more jobs uh, over the coming months. I said so. Uh, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, the strong economy we had under President Trump, and we're seeing uh, his vaccine program having this extraordinary impact. And let me just quickly on that, Neil, um, you know, uh, supporters of President Trump, those who love uh, President Trump, I think your viewers are among those. Um, if you're not vaccinated, you're an adult, you know, get vaccinated um, because there, there does remain risk. I am concerned about the case trend. Uh, it's not as alarming as numbers like this would have looked a year ago because it's younger, less at risk people uh, getting the virus. Um, but the vaccine program was an extraordinary achievement by the president. I think that's what's driving uh, the numbers we're seeing now, not um, the more regulatory approach that President Biden is advocating. Well, as you know, he's, he's trumpeting that and is spending for producing these big numbers. Obviously, there's a philosophical difference there. But while I have you, and one last question I want to ask concerning the Supreme Court and hearkening back to your dad, great human being, uh, Antonin Scalia, I wonder what he would make, uh, Secretary, of the, the, the progressive push to kick Stephen Pryor out to quit so that a, a Democratic president can uh, presumably appoint his successor. Well, well, the, well, the time is still there. He says he's not going anywhere. I'm sure he takes great offense to that. But uh, what do you think? What do you think your dad would think of that? 
Yep. Quickly on the Biden policies, I actually think the biggest impact to date may have been that uh, unemployment's a little higher uh, because of the generous federal benefit, and I think that's probably pushing wages up, uh, pushing them up a lot right. potentially in the leisure hospitality uh, sector, and that, that bears watching. Uh, in, in, with respect to uh, Justice Breyer, um, you know, who by the way was a very good. A uh, friend of my father, he, uh, his wife Joanna, dear friends of both my parents for decades, actually, even before any of them were on the Supreme Court. Uh, he's a, a, a wonderful man, jurist. Uh, he'll make a decision, I think, on his own terms, uh, on his own timetable. And uh, I, I don't know that clamor by the public one way or the other is going to influence that. Yeah, I would just take a thing. So, so many people tell me, you know, Secretary, gee, Neil, you've been doing this a long time. Do you ever think of just putting your feet up and relaxing? And I always say, I'll decide that, okay? But when my wife says it, just uh, that, then I get a little annoyed. But, um, Secretary, thank you very, very much. Very good seeing you.